was a year of no. No to the precious puppy whose needs and care far exceeded my abilities and my energy. No to relationships where hurt and belittling had become the mainstay. No to graduate school and its unbearable demands. I even said no to my beloved chocolate. But looking back on all these decisions now, I can see more than a long series of no's. I see that it was a year of trying, a year of waking up, a year of spirit letting herself free to heal and become, and a year of honoring inner light. And now, after all these months, I can hear a gentle refrain on the north wind. In all this knowing, there were a thousand yeses no to that precious puppy meant yes to rehoming her with the loving family who had given her to us. And it meant yes to my family restoring balance and margin. No to a malignant relationship meant yes to me expressing my needs and wants in ways that I had never imagined before. No to graduate school and to its unsustainable requirements meant saying yes to my body, my intuition, and yes to all the other ways that I can connect and give love in the world. The more we say no, to all that doesn't fit, to all that doesn't resonate, to all that doesn't sit right in our spirit, the more we hear it, friends, the more we hear the chorus of a thousand yeses. And that chorus resounds and echoes over the valleys of our lives. Wherever you are, dear friends, I hope you're safe and well. Take good care, and I'll see you soon.